New right now at six. This Derry Township man is charged with trying to kill his own wife by setting a trap. Police say he put a trip wire at the top of the basement stairs, but it didn't work. Channel 11's Melanie Gillespie's found out he has a history of violence. This Derry Township woman is safe tonight after police say she found a trip wire in her own house, allegedly set up by her own husband. And state police believe he was trying to kill her. It's kind of mind boggling that someone would do something so you know deviant to try and hurt someone. It was a deliberate attempt to end his wife's life. That's what state troopers are saying about a bizarre murder attempt in this Derry Township home over the weekend. This man, William Dankus Ryder Jr., is accused of setting up a trip wire in his home, and police believe it was all in an effort to kill his wife. This was obviously thought through. Uh, you know, I don't know how long he was thinking this through, but you could definitely see that there was line tied across. There was no nothing accidental about this. Police say metal eye hooks secured a clear string about three inches above the carpet right at the door leading to the basement. It was concealed by the trim and below were 10 wooden steps and a concrete landing on the other end. She tripped on it, but it wasn't successful. And having her fall down the steps, she was able to catch her balance. She luckily only had a clear mark across her foot from the wire, but allegedly told police she's endured verbal and physical abuse at the hands of her husband for some time. She's very brave on her, her end to try and make that phone call because once, you know, obviously something like that, I mean, it, it, how much worse can it possibly get when somebody's trying to kill you? Investigators say this victim was in the process of filing a PFA against her husband. In the meantime, he's in the Westmoreland County Prison on a half a million dollars bond. Reporting outside the State Police Barracks in Greensburg, I'm Melanie Gillespie for Channel 11 News.